people like getting the future read. People like having the idea of thinking that they are part of something much bigger if they're in a bit of a small life or death situation, or they just get curious of what they are in life. Luckily for me, your hook sniffer right here. <laughs> I actually decided to do that with one of my viewers. This is her right here. Fat Llama is a small streamer. She does, the show doesn't really do much. She does like art pieces and like slow fly music streams. And, but she's quite an intelligent young lady. She decided to actually give me the idea of me of her reading me her, my tarot cards. If people don't know what those tarot cards are, you, you shuffle cards until you get the right moment like when you want to stop the shuffling cards. And the reader who's going to give you your predictions and your reading for your cards, they give you the first three cards that are on the very top and they give you those three card selections. However, order you choose those cards, we're going from the past, present, and the future. And they indicate on how you're feeling with what the card is. Every single card has a particular description and everything like that. Really pretty art awesome. sometimes. You can have particular people that can make different cards, different meanings, and different beliefs of what you believe in, by the way. So Lama decided to give me her cards and I and she read them to me. And this is the result of me getting read the cards from the last stream I was on. Thanks so much for watching this and yeah, I ha um, um, I'm I'm going to be dying in 3 days. Oh my god. Right. Why is Lama not here? Hello? Yo. Hey man. It works. How are you, man? How are you, man? Actually, I changed my mind. Kill yourself. Are we all good to go? Yeah. All right. Are we ready, Llama? Are we ready, Llama? Never. Okay. So what are we are doing today, Llama? Can you please tell everyone what we're doing today, Llama? We're gonna predict Hook's future. Yeah. We're doing no, a. We're, <laughs> we're doing. Yeah. We're doing a special card reading. Llama and I had an idea of doing card reading, and what that does is, well, I'm, she's gonna be an give me questions, and she's gonna be judging by what my answers are. I'll uh, pay any predictions of what happens in my future. This is Llama's idea of what she did right here. Very nice paneling of cards and that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. It's a very different idea. And I love how different the idea is, or really honestly. And Llama is into this kind of stuff. And I respect card reading. <laughs> Confirmed. That's not, how it works. That's not how it works, bro. We all know it's a scam, so it's fine. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, that I'm means ki it doesn't work. Look. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. Llama, this is probably, this is your thing. I would rather you take over and I just be your guinea pig. I just want to see, I just want to see how it like be like that, I guess. Your turn to shine it is your moment. So you take over for the stream, bro. Ski. Ski water. That's all right, bro. That's fine. Take your time. I can share my screen. Do you want to share your screen, but I can yep. share the video. Which one? Sorry. Hey, crazy. Oh, hey, mm -hmm. Llama, I hate to tell you, your, your camera's on. I know, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> Add watercolor. That's so watercolor. pretty. What the fuck? Dude, you should auction that. No, because it's from Kmart. It's not oh. worth anything. Uh, oh, uh, but, but wait, you colored it though, right? Yeah, I painted it. Yeah, and that would be cool. It'd be cool to auction it, I reckon. I can so, I reckon so at least. Once again. Yay! Yay! Yay. <laughs> oh my god, we should do take turns. Final should have this card ready next. Llama stream when? She streams. Llama streams. If you follow Llama on Twitch, that Llama, she streams. I don't. You don't lie. <laughs> Are we ready? No, we're not ready. We're not ready. Okay, well, let's wait now 20 minutes until Fat Llama's ready. Three hours later. These cards are like motivating cards, so they're quite like nice. Like, mm -hmm. That's cool. I don't know how to explain. Like they're trying, they're like, they've got affirmations on them. Mm -hmm. And they're supposed to encourage and inspire. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's all right. That's kind of cool, man. That's fine. But depending on which way the card faces, Mm -hmm. will determine the meaning of it or the memeing right. or memeing meaning memeing memeing oh meme you have a 911 george bush card how it's really rare to find <laughs> <laughs> i mean for whatever reason i found this deck mm -hmm. in the middle of nowhere and i was literally at a shop and yeah. it was in the most randomest spot mm -hmm. in the 
bloody shop and I was like, okay, no, this is this is meant to be. Yeah, this for sure. Death point. That's actually such a cool thing, actually. Booty so, shit, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean, it depends what you believe. Exactly, yeah, exactly. This whole thing, by the way, guys, a little disclaimer before we continue on, we should respect people's beliefs, respect people's understanding of what the meaning of everything in the cards mean, by the way. If we have a, a debate, please, like, a standstill saying, that's what you believe in, that's what I believe in, I don't agree, but I don't care. Jay, you believe in God? Get the fuck out of here. Just a disclaimer, just let you guys know. Please, no arguments, no, like, like funny shit buggers even if it's trolling we just want to respect you because it's a new idea i wanted to be like a nice different thing for everyone you know there's a, there's a cool thing you know um i have no cloud my cards red how about you tell me how about you do your cards okay how you normally read people oh shit so like yeah llama's a witch yeah yeah oh, weird just like you can't see my face i've got a twoies beanie on <laughs> and i don't even drink twoies <laughs> how i do taro is so that's what's called it's called taro cards. it's called taro okay everyone does it differently everyone believes in different yeah exactly exactly level. okay and i usually just pull out three cards and it will be your past present and future and whatever you want from that tarot reading mm -hmm. the energy of what you put into this deck should come out and reflect the cards okay okay i think i get it i think i get it okay so i'm just gonna shuffle okay yeah just like just take your time Take your time, take your time. Oh, good. No well, pressure, by the way. No pressure, by the way. If you feel like I need to stop shuffling, just tell me. Okay. Well, we'll wait until chat tells you to stop shuffling. We make it interactive, you know? Make it interactive. All right, let's go. <laughs> get, your, get your energy into the deck of cards. Yeah, guys. We yeah, we need, we, we need energy. We need Goku energy. <laughs> Boss, stop. Yeah, I'm yeah, okay, cool. Okay, yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Talk the first three cards. Three cards. This is really cool, actually. I like how cool this is, actually. Okay. Oh, good. All right, Go on. you want me to pick? Mm, um, I don't know why. I'm disabled, and I like the idea of making more chaotic for myself. Can we swap it around the cards? Sure. Yeah, like that. And then... I feel like that's the right yeah. thing to do. Yeah, I, I like the idea of doing that. Follow your dick. No, that's how you get arrested. <laughs> um middle card please so this will be what do you feel like it's gonna be because i feel like this is your past card. not gonna lie i'm fi okay yeah i'm already feeling something in my chest already i feel like i feel i feel cool I feel cool right here so i feel like um it's gonna be a heavy card i reckon i reckon it's gonna be a heavy card i reckon you reckon yeah i think it's heavy uh, damn. well it's not <laughs> oh okay <laughs> and, so it, it's it's glasses and tea yeah it's a two of cups a two of cups i don't know if you can see that very well not very i have to read them sorry dude Use the camera sorry well at the top it just says i attract and maintain healthy and positive <laughs> relationships so that's in your past okay so i'm so sorry can we please just stop for a second sorry go on you chatter and you follow thank you for that thank you lady boy thailand one two three hook you're about to be made my bitch what the fuck is this shit it's a two of cups and um, it's upright so it's facing the right way well not I, the right way but you know oh so positioning cards also matter as well yes oh so if it's upside down means something else but if it's facing upwards it's complete opposite direction yeah so what it is not roleplay. <laughs> <laughs> this, I think this card was pulled because, you know, in your past, you had a strong relationship, maybe with your girlfriend, your past girlfriend, your ex. It, it, do yeah. Think, do you think you're getting that or no? I just felt, I just felt shivers, yeah. I, I, shivers? I, yeah, I, a five-year relationship, bro, and broke down the last last week was i could you not my anniversary of my breakup wow god yeah. damn maybe yeah. this also indicates like you've moved on from that past self where you had that strong bond yeah yeah and now that's gone mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that's a bad thing no moving on you know it means like you can grow you know, yeah, it exactly. Could be, it could be for the better for like yeah, your growth and to find new strengths. Like you with your previous partner, you a lot of good things um, 
a lot of good qualities from you came out and now you get to build upon that as you move on. I have with my community, with you guys. It was yeah, thanks to yeah. me moving on from my breakup. Within one week, I became affiliated on Twitch. So, yeah. So yeah. This, this is kind of like almost like a neutral kind of card. Yeah, I like way. that. Yeah, I like that. It's cool. Mm. Bro, I'm feeling like feeling so much emotion. It's like, holy shit. It's really cool, actually. That's really nice, though. I f I'm glad I think I moved on from what happened. So I'm really happy with that. So that's really cool. That's really cool, actually. But that's this, sweet. this card is like really important because it means even though it's a past card, like you had a very strong relationship and it was very meaningful and it impacted you quite a lot. Uh, and you were yeah. a really strong pair together. You, you can you can like join in and like if you don't agree uh, yeah you yeah like uh, apparently people when we hanged out together with other people apparently i was dating my twin because my ex and i were so connected to each other we knew exactly what we were saying we had the same humor we had the same way we we're yeah. talking I can do yep. the same tarot hang on one so second hang on one second here have a listen close your eyes and think of a person you love <laughs> deeply care about now think about those who love you and want you to succeed in life tell me what you are feeling Close your eyes harder and now picture a pressure, a big pressure coming from your asshole. Wake up, you are getting pegged by Michael Jordan. Not Michael Jordan. <laughs> I love that. That's good. Oh yeah, continue. Sorry. Bro, we're, we're interrupting a wholesome moment because it's interesting you say that because this card is like, it really um, depicts your energy. Like you had this such like this positive energy from the universe and yeah. the way you shared that relationship with your ex-partner mm -hmm. it really showed this like kind of balance and it yeah was, yeah it's mm. that's really interesting you say that it's very interesting yeah. yeah yeah it was almost like you had like you're working together as a team and you built each other up kind of thing we actually did yeah we should yeah we did actually did a lot together. I helped her get her job. I helped her going through a lot of emotions with her friends. Yeah. I helped her through, unfortunately, I'm not sure if I should be disclosing this in public, but I helped her go through the emotional effect of her closest friend committing suicide. So it was a very, that was a very hard few months and it was good. So. We, we had a lot together, which makes it the whole thing very painful, unfortunately, with having to be breaking up. It was mutual, obviously, but um, yeah, it was, it sucked. Just, yeah. um, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's hard to move on from something, I guess, so strong as that because there's so much energy in this card right now. And I want to feel sorry for you, but at the same time, I really want to tell you that even though it's really hard to look back on those times yeah you need to know that you are still strong and mm. you can learn from that relationship and you still have so much um room to grow and build more relationships and yeah yeah i think that's really important to Keep in mind. Lama want to tell you that you're gay as fuck, bro. Sorry. Thank you, Shadow. <laughs> you're, you're saying something. You're saying something. No, I think that is pretty much all I'm getting from this card. But, okay, yeah. But it. Oh, yeah. One more thing. Uh, maybe I shouldn't leave on this bit, but it's like almost like you and your previous partner were like oh. one big energy. Like you were just. You lived through each other, kind of, in a way. Yeah, yeah. But not not in a toxic way, no. No, no, no. Very we, healthy yeah. way, like, yeah. as you mentioned, like, there were probably some really distressing times and you managed to um, mm. find ways to work through it. And, yeah, you had to, yeah, like, you had someone you could trust. But yeah. that, But that shouldn't deter you from still pursuing relationships no. like that. No, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. No, yeah, exactly, hundred percent. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this 
Yeah, this I was ex I was expecting this. Hey, I I'm actually on the verge of tearing a bit. Hey, it's 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 not a bad thing. It's just how far I've gotten, you know, and how far my virginity has been lost throughout the years <laughs> in Thailand with that lady boy. So that's why we broke up, actually. No. <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. <laughs> but um, there's, there's yeah. no way that relationship could be broken up by a lady boy. I'm sorry. There's no way. <laughs> no, 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 no. They're definitely not. Definitely not. No. But um, yeah. This is really, really deep. And um, I'm I. Sorry. I no, no, no. It's good. No, 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 no. Please continue. Honestly, this this shit's interesting. I love how interesting this is, and I love how connective it was because. That card you said has a lot of energy and what happened in the past, I should, yes, remember the times that I had a good time, but it's also, it's also showing how much I've gone through, how much stronger I've become with what happened, basically. I think this card also, it's, it's, I think it's shown up today because I think you need to be reminded of um, mm -hmm. the strength you sh you were showing in that relationship and that energy isn't gone yet. Yeah, yeah. And that's really important to, you know, yeah. keep that energy, build on that energy. 100%, 100%, yeah, definitely. And don't discredit, don't discredit your efforts at all. No, Because no. that relationship wasn't a waste of time. You think so? 100%. The relationship was never a waste of time. Yeah. I think it, looking back at that, it will allow you to um, realize just, I guess, your potential. You know? Yeah. So something for something even greater in the future, yeah. that card could be the stepping stone saying, hey, you did something right in the past. You had a great experience, but now I'm, going, I'm passing this small cup to you now and i'm giving you the bigger cup now for the next potential great thing that you've have built up in your past i'm well, guessing it's, it's like it could be like you know you used to sh like used to share glass a glass of wine with say your girlfriend and yeah. that celebration kind of period and sharing with your girlfriend is now over mm -hmm. but like it doesn't mean you still can't drink the wine and celebrate no. <laughs> it's just no. it'll be with a different person or it could be by yourself you know like being alone isn't always the worst thing either but um yeah. in this in this point in my life i would rather not be alone actually um yeah. it's i've been getting really bad habits of me doing stuff by myself that i should not be doing by myself like i've been having awful moments in my life how i'd waste hundreds of dollars on movies by myself and i would um i'm gonna confess this now and, and open and open chats and open on the internet i would drink by myself in the theaters and just drink in order to feel something while doing something you know to feel something while watching a movie is just drinking yeah that's that's pretty brave for you to admit I appreciate you sharing that. You didn't have to, but thank you. I think, yeah, it's mm. yeah. Thanks for telling. Oh, telling honestly, us, thank you, thank you. Yeah, honestly, yeah. I, I yeah. I, I don't want to push you to thinking like you need to share absolutely everything. Like I want to make sure that like you're comfortable. No, 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 no. This like, this shit like is pro. Yeah, and honestly, um, if I can honestly be open with wherever, what's my book? What's my biggest regret in the hook sniffer community? I'm um, giving shadow mod. I think that's something I regret a lot. It's damaging. It caused a lot of distress in the community. I've lost money. I've lost friends. I've lost my mother due to a car accident thanks to shadow. And oh. I th I'm joking, I'm joking. So this one is your past card, the Two of Cups. And yeah. we might have jumped the gun a little bit mm -hmm. because the energy was so strong on this one because it's only a minor arcana. Well, I guess we didn't. Minor arcana, that sounds cool. Yeah, so it 
it means like it's not as much energy as say a major arcana card which would reflect like more of your life journey but you reckon we should skip a card because of how powerful the middle card you reckon is no 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 okay once once you've drawn a card it's your card oh true I true true I true true oh true 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 makes sense strength makes sense well we can move on now mm -hmm. if you want yeah sure do you want to look at the present now cool thing though once again can we actually maybe swap it around once again the cards <laughs> i forgot what cards <laughs> oh no really no i'm just kidding i don't <laughs> know what cards you've got yet all right so i think left this one yes that was cool the hand that was cool because i was literally just about to say that one wait well. really yeah oh it's so cool so this is the present card that's nah, correct. All right, focus your energy back on this card. Oh, sorry, 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 yeah. All right. I'm nervous. Oh. No way. Oh. You got another cups card. Oh, but okay. It is, it is reversed. And it's oh. a seven of cups. And it says, I'm ready to take positive action to achieve what I want in life. Oh, I like that. Tell me, what do you think of this card? Um, I want to know what you feel from this card. Hmm. I think it's funny how it's cu it's um, cups. I think that's funny how it's cups. And it does seven mean anything at all, but a number, or just is it that's what the card is basically? Well, I can tell you what it can mean. Mm -hmm. Um. But what do you think about it first? What do you think seven means to you? Um. Does it have any to? You? It doesn't have to. I like seven, but not the moment because I get spammed by chat by the number seven for five minutes straight with uh, text speech. Really? But yeah, I did. Yeah, I met TikTok <laughs> Albert. Vinyl did seven, 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 seven. Oh. Yeah, and purple. Don't you fucking do it either, purple, please. Maybe and Vinyl's energy is actually brushing off on the cards. Then. <laughs> maybe, yeah, <laughs> maybe that'd be kind of cool, actually. Yeah, literally. But uh, yeah. Um, so what, what was the actual card again? Sorry, like, and, and, and have to take positivity with my actions? Well, it's reversed, so it doesn't necessarily mean what it's saying here. Mm -hmm. So a reversed seven of cup kind of means that, like, everything's a little bit unclear. Ah. Uh at the moment so this is your present mm -hmm. so there's i feel like you have like very you're very close-minded at the moment and you're not really willing to like face the realities of life and you're kind of you're like trying to escape through emotions i mean sorry not emotions imagination and um daydreaming so like there's something that you don't want to face at the moment. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, it actually does. I feel like I'm in a particular spot that I'm comfortable in, but nothing really reminds me anything of something that I want to keep myself occupied away from doing something that I don't want to do. Like right now, I'm planning on doing a big, massive thing very soon in October, and you're already aware of this already because I spoke I spoke out to you about this before early today. But right now, um, there's nothing really much that I really want to like try to avoid doing or something like that. But um, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure what that really means much to me. It's I don't also know. Kind of a neutral card, like okay maybe you could be a bit blinded by some aspects of your life and it might seem hang on let me just snore some gamer stuff so i can have a better clear mindset you know are you but... actually gonna snore <laughs> no i'm not no i'm actually running out i need to order some gamer subs on my payday <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> need to get my buyer I'm so, that's a very confusing card for me because mm. i'm just 
trying to think like I'm in my own in my own stage in life that I am not too sure I really am yeah. and I'm like this I don't know how to describe it it's weird um hmm there is definitely stuff that I am not trying to avoid there's stuff that I'm looking forward to uh, to actually do I'm looking forward to doing stuff already um right now it's just I don't know like you said it's probably a neutral mutual card but um yeah yeah, not too sure. Well, I mean, the upright card, which is the opposite to the reversal, is pretty similar, but the reversal highlights more of the more negative qualities of the card. Okay. So, like you said, things that you're searching for are probably unclear at the moment. And that's what that card kind of means. Is like, there's not really any... There's like a lack of goals and not much like trying to, I guess, push yourself. So you're comfortable, but it could also be a warning that. Don't get too comfortable. Yeah, get out of your comfort yeah. zone. Get out of your comfort zone. Exactly. And not to achieve more things in life that you want to strive for. Yeah. Well, funny you say that. I actually did some really cool social things today that I've always wanted to do for a very long time, and I actually did it. And holy shit, it was the best fucking feeling ever. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So and I was, yeah. I was, yeah, I was out of my comfort zone. Something that I'm not used to doing. Like I did stuff at work with my colleagues that I was not expecting to do. Actually, I got a ride in their car to the train station with uh, my colleague and her boyfriend and it was really fucking cool i really enjoyed that it was sick if that if that makes anything to do with the topic i guess or well i guess that's pretty good that's almost like you are taking on the energy of the card in a good way. like mm -hmm. because even though there may not seem like there's a lot of opportunity at the moment with like your career or something like that there's there's no reason to feel like you it's too late to succeed or get into like a dream position at work like yeah it's important not to get hung up on negative emotions and maybe even try to set career goals like work on skills but mm. i think you need to probably be a bit more proactive in like taking opportunities whether it be socially I definitely already got the proactive and social is already getting pretty good. Like I fucking join a gym and I'm being more confident asking people advice for gym workouts. I already helped, I already got advice already by two different random people at the gym two days in a row. That was pretty cool and socializing. And um, I learned some new skills today of how to do banana stacking in the produce cold room by the guy who drove me to the train station tonight and is pretty else really cool and i was like learning a new thing while also socializing getting to know a staff member that i don't really know yet but i want to get to know him more and he really appreciated me helping him out because i finished my my shift and i had nothing else to do and i actually told my parents that i'll be back later so i stayed back after my closing shift of me signing out I helped out the guy in produce and helped a bit out at the front with my supervisor who was closing the store and everything like that. It was cool. Is that, does that help anything with what that meant before with what I said? Well, that's up to you. Do you think Do you think it helps you kind of consolidate? Yes. Like, for the card, yeah. Take on a new perspective. Yeah. 100%. Because it's not, it's not my reading, it's your reading. Exactly, you yeah. understand it more than me. Yeah, yeah exactly. I think, I think I'm understanding more now, yes. I'm definitely more, more understanding now. Be more, um, be more reaching out to people who need help, and be more reaching out to people who generally want to talk to you and want to be more happy, be part of the group. Really try not to get hung up on negative emotions and put yeah. yourself out there. Be proactive, like yeah. you know, try to aim for progress wherever that may be. The future and probably the most abstract. What do you mean by abstract, sorry? Just to understand for people in the room that does not know what abstract means. Well, abstract meaning it's harder to piece things together. A future card can also be like a warning card. It could be like maybe you're doing something now and that oh. might um, have negative effects in the future. So, you know, be aware of 
this sorry um, be aware of these actions you know change it be more prepared yeah it's not necessarily predicting the future it's almost like guiding you to make a better decision yeah when the time comes know where your mindset is at because like my, my little brother he told me this this big thing one time he did hang on llama please for the love of god tell hook it's okay to have friends and that he can make friends yes it may be hard in the short term but in the long run it's beneficial for his own mental illness <laughs> what shadow <laughs> do not say do not just assume someone is mentally ill. <laughs> Appreciate the warning though, Shadow. Thank you for that though. Half that did make sense, Shadow. Half that yeah, did I make mean, sense. You said mental health, then yeah, sure. <laughs> well, I do have borderline social anxiety at work though. That's a thing that probably should be better to know, I guess. Yeah, well, some people are better socially than others. I think that's right. quite, quite a normal feeling. I feel like as humans, we like to feel in control and in a lot of social situations we don't know what's going to happen you feel yep. uneasy it sense for us to feel anxious in social settings be afraid to be getting out of your comfort zone without you being prepared some people cope better than others at different things hook is ken though i'm not ken um we are ready for the future i reckon sure. but i like this idea though can we turn the card the opposite way like, like do this. like yeah like that yeah 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 that, that, okay now we read it now we read it dun, dun. yeah no way another <laughs> cup you got another cup that's so cool bro i promise this is shuffled properly as well i've gone to i've gone and done a few readings as well i'm not alcoholic i'm not alcoholic i think it's okay chat what do you guys reckon what does it mean by me having three cards that uh, represent cups one i'm an alcoholic or two i have a tiny dip which one do you reckon chat type one for the first answer or top two in the second answer what's interesting is that you know both could be like if you're an alcoholic <laughs> don't worry i do drink a bit though that's my noticeable thing i'm noticing nowadays by yourself yeah well that's interesting you say that we don't have to keep talking about it if you don't want to but this is reversed so what does that mean so with the upright ace of cups it usually like what words really come to mind with this card is like love new feelings emotional awakening yeah. creativity spirituality and intuition but with the reverse it is very much the opposite unfortunately uh, oh i know yeah this is a stronger card of the cups it's very much to do with emotions and your emotional energy and your spiritual energy and creativity and stuff like that but with the reverse it's almost like this card is kind of warning you that maybe you're going down a path of sadness or separation or insecurity in regards to like relationships and love or even your career like you could be feeling unmotivated or distant from colleagues or something but that's also understandable with a new job or you're struggling financially oh like, uh, definitely am yeah there's, there's some tension or yeah i think this card can kind of like <laughs> no don't say that <laughs> literally i feel like if you take on the energy of the cards in more of a positive opportunistic kind of way mm -hmm. it could really be great for you this could like this future the ace of cups card it could kind of stem from maybe the breakup that we went through in the past that we talked about so these cards all their energy really connect with each other especially because they're all cups so there's something really important to focus on in regards to like your emotions and growing emotionally what do you think <laughs> i mean like you said it's very interesting how it's all cups and it definitely means that i'm going to be having a villain arc and i so watch after the nearby school in my location 
But jokes aside though, I really think my breakup definitely has a lot of energy to do with my past. That has a lot to do with my future as well as my present. I think I'm still in my recovery stage of my breakup, I think. That's also a totally normal part of just the human experience. Like you were in a long-term relationship. Five years. Yeah, and from what you're talking about and the energy from the card, it was a very strong one and very character building for you and you felt very stable in it, but maybe you needed to let go of that. But what might not work in your favor is that you're not able to look inward and give yourself the love that you want i feel like you're seeking this love but you need to give that to yourself before you actually go and find that same energy in another person that's what i've been told as well love yourself first before you can truly love with someone else well, i've always had the issue i mean you don't even have to i think love is also a very strong word even just being able to look introspectively and just look at how you feel about yourself and just accept who you are and yeah. don't let insecurity dominate your your emotional well-being mm, 100%, 100%. 100% yeah this the ace of cups is telling you you need to step out of your comfort zone because you really i don't, I don't know how to explain it like no, I think it's I get it. I think I get be, it. It's going to be really hard to, I guess, turn a new leaf and move on mm. if you can't give yourself that acceptance and give yourself more credit <laughs> for a lady boy. Yeah, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I look over at the worst time. You really do, actually. And the best part is lady boy Thailand123 is like a brand new chatter. Now, this is their first time being on my stream. And they're doing such a good job what? being literally Hooksmith super community. I love that. Also, I love that. What do you know your star sign? Um, I'm Aries. Okay, I think that is a water element. Yep. I'm just gonna look it up. Okay, go for it. <laughs> he says my gay energy. <laughs> um, depends if the gay die or not. Uh rep skill issue. This is so cool though. I'm I'm loving this, so. I was gonna say, but what's Ares then? Ares is the god of war in Greek. No. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, that's a clothing and personality of me being gay. I love that. It's interesting. Because, I mean, Ares is a fire sign, and you've got three water signs, because cups is a water, water element. So. Maybe that could be <laughs> signifying your energy is it's it's almost like it's the opposite of what you want it to be, maybe, or it could be mm -hmm. a lot more powerful or you know, I feel like maybe you think you're something but on the and you haven't been able to look on the inside and see your true self so maybe you're still uncovering mm. your true self in a way yeah and i'm pretty sure the um, relationship and the breakup is a nice crack to see a glimpse of what my true self is basically maybe yeah that's that's really it i think there's just i mean i didn't mean for this reading to be like sad or anything nah nah it's cool it's interesting honestly it's interesting it's actually really cool it's interesting how that works actually uh, i like that's cool actually it's really cool i like that a lot actually it's it's it gets my heart pumping a bit because of how real it is and like how um how much it connects to me i guess when it came to emotion that kind of stuff and yeah i just love the idea of how the cups really represent especially the past that really hit home for me i reckon so that was really cool how it worked so yeah that was an interesting experience really enjoyed that actually it was really cool actually Sorry, thanks for the idea of doing this, honestly. That was a really cool idea to do. It's really cool, actually.
Uh, Lami though. Oh my god, Lama's thing died. <laughs> Lama, you there? <laughs> See you, Jet. Have you gone, Jet? Lama, I can't hear you if you can't say anything. My Discord disconnected at the worst time. Oh my god, did it really? Oh my god. Yeah, that is so weird. <laughs> oh my god. When is Overwatch 2? I'm um, in a second, and then we just have to elaborate something afterwards. Sorry, lasered. Um, yeah, I just. Which part? No, it's fine. Did, which part did you hear before it got cut out? I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> okay. Um, the experience was very cool. I like the idea of how the cups were very um much like for the past being my strongest point in my card reading, and having the future knowing that I have to really understand that I need to learn more about myself in order to truly let things take place that I want it to be. I have to, I have to be my own pathway, basically, if that makes sense. Yeah, if that makes sense, yeah. I have to be on my own pathway, yeah. Like, it's just interesting that your present and your future cards were reversed. Yeah, well. that was cool. And the past one was upright. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really cool. Like that a lot, it's just really cool. And it kind of went from really good well, not, I'm not saying good and I don't want to say good and bad. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. It was just this really, like, intense, really positive energy mm -hmm. in the past. And then yeah. the present was kind of neutral, but more on the negative sort of side. And then it really kind of collapsed. Yeah, like a reality it's check just, or? Yeah, I would call it that. But I like not, that. It's not... The cards aren't trying to condemn you and say, oh, nah, like, nah. you're, like, hopeless, like, you're lost and blah, blah, blah. It's literally those cards are there to encourage you. Yeah, to... of course. Like you said, the very start, like, the very like the, the very start you said, they're meant to encourage, motivate you with stuff. So, like you said before, at the very start. So, yeah, I, I, I once didn't think like that, obviously, but... After the reading, I know exactly what that means now when it comes to motivating and like my nice pods and stuff like that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. You better tuck your tits in yourself or else your life is coming with you 20 inches. Crap on. What the <laughs> fuck, Shadow? <laughs> no, like, like, I think it says there's a lot in front of you. Yeah. Don't be scared. It's mm -hmm. not like you haven't got anything left to live for hang on a second hang on you have no hope in your life you are about to get dicked down by michael jordan slay b-i-t-c-h-a-s-s-n-i-g-a-a nail care 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 nail Nail care, 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 nail care. Okay, you're saying sorry. Yeah, like you've come from this really high place from the past. Yeah. And you're losing that spark. Don't lose that spark. Mm-hmm because i feel like you can still flourish you don't need that same person because at the end of the day like they're their own person they have their own energy and that energy is you know separated from you but the yeah your energy is still really strong but it is starting to still it's starting to get a bit clouded so don't don't let it get clouded you know? Don't lose your way, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like that. That's pretty cool. Actually, that's really cool, actually. Yeah. I think I got a rough idea. I think I got a rough idea, honestly. I mean, not gonna lie, once I edit this video down to, like, minimal parts to get rid of, obviously, like, <laughs> that just before, with that thing honestly yeah yeah don't get overwhelmed by life's challenges exactly shadow is that what was that what you mean by the llama what shadow said don't get overwhelmed by life's challenges um 
It makes sense, but I'm not too sure. I don't know. I'm really like picky with wording, so oh, okay. usually my phrasing is really weird, but like I feel like you've lost sight of who you are. Not necessarily because like you might feel overwhelmed or something, but I feel like like um you've just distance yourself from your past self which had this really like positive energy because mm -hmm. you're scared you're maybe you're scared to go back to that energy because it might remind you uh. of your relationship so i think maybe that is a barrier that sounds more like that not gonna lie actually it sounds a lot more legit Honestly, if I'm being real with you, man, it sounds honestly. Yeah, I am I definitely am scared sometimes trying new things. But today though, I um I did a new thing though. I honestly had a moment before, like when I was leaving work. I was about to leave the store, but then I thought, what if I just asked my workmates if they needed help with stuff before I left the store? And that's what I did. I um I pushed as well. Some of them said, "Oh, we don't need any help. It's okay. It's okay." And I'm like, "Are you sure? I'm I'm right here. I got a few hours to kill or a few minutes to kill." And then one of them said, "Oh, actually, can you help me out with bins in the produce?" And I did, and I got rewarded for trying a new thing. I went to a new place. I learned a new skill. I developed a new bond with one of the coworkers from the produce, and I got an experience of um. I probably got a process check, sorry. We got we got posture checks, dude. For both of us. Yeah, oh no. Your lights okay. Yeah, they'll live. Okay. Hey. Oh wait, man. Young white boy. Tell Giga your problems. Hey. We have already have already, actually. If you want if you want to check out my YouTube afterwards, I'll post a video of this full thing. Cause we've been doing this for 40 minutes, bro. If you want to check it out afterwards, man, I'll be posting very soon. But yeah, thanks to me doing something that I was not expected to do. Oh, it is actually. <laughs> but um, yeah, I would like to think that me doing a brand new thing, I got rewarded for it. I got a new skill. That's so fucking cool. I got a new skill and I got rewarded for going to do a new thing I've always wanted to do, which was being in a car with my coworkers and they invited to drop me off at the train station. That is so fucking cool. What the fuck? Actually from Kmart. <laughs> That's so cool, bro. How does that work? Is it just flickering lights or is it like based off music or sound? Uh, it's just lights. Oh, okay, it looks fucking cool though. <laughs> That's so cool. By the way, lady boy, if you're hearing this right now, I ain't timed you out for like 10 minutes, so it's okay, bro. Lucian compared to the game on Thursday's stream. He promised he would play with me. Oh my god, it is actually. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't recognize your name, bro. I've been working and going to the gym for ages. So my mind is very cloudy from the past. I'm very sorry. That's why I'm doing a, a reading, actually. Funny you say that. Um, Yeah. Honestly, I think that's a good time, good way to end it, I reckon. I reckon it's a good way of ending it. Like what Shadow said, thank you so much, Llama, for taking your time and opportunity to show us your cards. This was really, really cool to do, honestly. Your tarot cards. I think the next time we do this, you have to drink tarot tea to really enhance the energy, I reckon. Tarot tea? Yeah, did, did you not, did, have you not tried bubble tea from tarot tea? Have you not tried oh that? Oh my gosh, I love tarot. Oh, the purple potato. Yeah, purple potato, purple potato. Yeah, I, I would. It. Yeah, next time we do a card reading like this, you have to drink some while doing All the right, prediction. Eh? It'll be really cool. But, but you just gotta give me a warning. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'll definitely give you out next time. I definitely want to do this again because this was fucking interesting. It was really, really cool, actually. No, 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 no. There's so much action on that last episode. Oh my god. <laughs> thank you for making a thumbnail thank you llama you're welcome no. that's your own fault you did it oh my God. that's your fault no nah. no nah, that's your fault now bro no nah, that's your thumbnail thanks llama thanks for that thumbnail cool Rude. nah you're the one who made it bro you're the one who made it bro it's fine bro honestly oh, you hooked. This is what sorry 
I can't even. See, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute! No, that was just a stick figure. I know, I know. Oh, that's so funny. Um, I just had a thought, Llama. Are you able to go to your camera settings on your Logitech and actually disable face from being shown? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Are you right? Just keep doing that, bro. <laughs> This is funny. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's funny. It's funny because I'm making all these as thumbnails. <gasps> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, you could put them. You can put them as tarot cards. <gasps> that would be funny. You should so do that. I have and play Overwatch for fuck's sakes. Lazen, how would we read your fucking cards? This ain't not fucking bored. I'll pull you the death card out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm actually, I'm actually quite curious now. Laser, do you actually want to do that? I hope you choke on a sushi and die. I take this a no. How about this? We play a game of watch, and if anything happens, we'll then come back to this if you want to do that instead, you reckon? Oh, that's so cute. I love that. That's so cute. I love that. Jesus, your eyes.